Hi gentlemen, in today's video I'm talking about five designer colognes every man needs. This is your perfect cologne for every occasion. They're just really long lasting, will perform great, will give you those compliments, but they're all designer. They're all, you know, available everywhere. If you go to, into the stores, you can smell them before you buy them. This is the list that you need if you're just starting out or maybe you're just wondering what colognes do I need in my collection, then this is the one. First clone on this list would be the Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. This is what I'm calling a bit of a unique designer clone. This is something that not everybody will have if you're going somewhere where you want to impress with your cologne. If you know that everybody there will be wearing the Bleu de Chanel's, the Sauvages, and you want to be a bit different, then go for something like this. And this is why you need it. You need it for those occasions. It smells absolutely divine. It's super spicy. It's traditionally masculine of a cologne but also with a twist with a bit of sweetness. Perfect for a bit more of a formal occasion, work do or even if you're going out somewhere apply a ton of it. It's one of those colognes that really draws you in and it's unique on a designer budget. Love this one. You just have to really overspray with, the, uh, with this one because it's just, it's a bit powdery. So you need to be able to really project with this cologne to draw somebody in. Next up, it's a solid staple. I mean, if you're a guy and you don't own this cologne, I'm surprised because I would. If I was a guy, I would think, go and get this cologne. It's Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. This is a solid staple. I always, always talk about this one. I thought I had a spider on my back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tried to be cool, but I was like, something's crawling on my back. <laughs> it was my hair. It's okay, it's okay. Comment down below if you've got a few spiders. Probably not. You're all like brave men out there, but well, <laughs> I'm scared. Um, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. This is a really masculine cologne. I mean, I have met so many women obsessed with this cologne and I'm really obsessed. It's blue, it's woody, it's perfect for every day. It lasts. It's one of those colognes that you can wear everywhere and anywhere. It will always just pull compliments. It'll be super attractive no matter how old or young you are. This is something you must own in your collection, in my opinion. Like, oh. I've tested a ton of colognes, but this one is still one of the best. Next, you need a cologne that is a bit more of a date cologne, something that really is attractive. And I remember one woman commented under one of my men's videos and she said, men, listen to her. I've bought my husband this cologne and he smells amazing. Like I'm craving it and it's so good. And there is something about this cologne that is just magical. It's Le Mal, Le Parfum. It's got a long name, so it's Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal, Le Parfum Eau de Parfum Intense. There we go. And this cologne is just so good. Oh, it's minty. It's warm and just a bit of vanilla, but not too intense. It's so fresh vanilla, I would say. It's a very central fragrance, perfect for date, for going out, for Netflix and chill. It's one of those really alluring, sexy, manly colognes. It smells super expensive, lasts a long amount of time. You don't have to be afraid with the amount of sprays you apply because it's soft in the way that it projects, but like in a nice soft way. So you can still apply a ton of it and really nicely just be smelt in the air, but not be like suffocating. You know, there's nothing worse than a man that smells just too strong, but in like a bad way. For us women, this won't do that at all. It's an amazing cologne. I wholeheartedly recommend it to everybody. Let me know what are five colognes that you would say every man needs from a designer sphere so that we can all share our opinions uh, down in the comments. But the next one, in my opinion, is this one. 
it's such a good one it's Mont Blanc Explorer I mean some of you have asked me in my recent video do you prefer Club de Nuit the dupe for Aventus or Mont Blanc Explorer and me personally I do prefer Mont Blanc Explorer just because it's a bit more natural smelling so if you're sensitive to that like, artificial smelling fragrances you'll love this one more and to me there is this like lightness to it that is super attractive it just smells more attractive to me um, and more like somebody who just, I would want to be more around. Club de Nuit is kind of forceful in its projection and it's like, it's banging me on the head, which is great for some occasions. So it just depends. But this is such an attractive one. My husband always gets complimented on this one whenever he wears it. If you want a light, woody, airy fragrance that you can wear all year round, but it's different from every single one that I've suggested here. This really gives you an amazing, attractive sort of a cologne for any age. And it's a solid blind buy. So many people have bought it. Uh, I know in the comments that you always say you love this one and it's a safe one, uh, but a really attractive one at that. The fifth one on this list is a freshie. You need a long lasting freshie and it is this one, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue All Intense. It's one of my personal favorites just because I can really smell it um, long after somebody has sprayed it. And for a fresh cologne, that is hard to do. And with this one, it's extremely attractive. I always say it smells like a sea guard because it does. It just smells like the depths of the ocean, somebody like straight out of the shower, really sexy, like six pack. This is the cologne that projects that image. It's just really, really good. And I get why there is hype around this cologne because it's extremely good, no matter what you say. It's so, so good. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of this channel and a like if you enjoy me doing videos about men's colognes and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's truly like, aromatherapy in a fragrance. <laughs> so... I'm so sorry for disrupting the, disrupting the, vi the video. This is because of him. He was, he was just so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said it myself. So good and so different. <coughs> oh yeah. Really impressive. Impressive. <laughs>